though, have to talk about these Cavaliers that have now won six of seven overall. And Evan Mopley, by many accounts, is one of the reasons why. Kristen, I, I, people are very quiet. They say, well, how's Evan Mobley and Jared Allen going to work? How do two seven-footers, how do two guys that like to be in the paint block shots? Well, Mobley has shown us now he's not your typical average big guy. With his length, he can put the ball on the floor, he can shoot threes. I, I mean, it's just amazing to say, I didn't see this in the one year at, at USC. But now you can see, Sam, he's putting in the work. Most young guys give up saying, no, 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 no. Hustle back, get that shot out of here. That's why if you're a Cleveland Cavalier fan, you got Afro power on one side and then you got to get that shot out of here on the other side. Are you kidding me? So if you're a wing player, you can play the gaps, you can play the wings, you can take some you know, chances because you got two big fellas to block shots. And the one of those four defenders not only available to do so, but had the capability to do so in that moment. Great point, Chris. And then you got, come on, Ruby Vision, understand the big fella has a good hand. So Evan Mobley, just keep doing what you're doing. You're coming into the NBA being a two-way player coming out the gate. He just reminds me of Chris Bosh. He can step mm, out and like shoot that. the three. He can score at all levels, from the three-point line, 17 feet in, and he can post up. And that's the thing that I love about him. And then the defense is a bonus. Oh, we know man. what Jared Allen was going to be defensively. Right. But now you have two seven-footers, and they're not just seven-footers. These are active, athletic seven-footers. And the thing I love about this, I'm listening to Jared Allen comments before the game, and he's talking about Mobile and he's saying, hey, I want him to be rookie of the year. I want all these great things for him because this young man has the ability to take us to another level. And the way I'm telling you, look, I hate that Colin Sexton got hurt, yeah. but it's given Garland a chance to kind of solidify that point guard position. He's running the team with confidence. And tonight, you watch that last play when he got to the free throw line. Marcus Smart is a great defender, not a good defender. Mm -hmm. He crossed him over. He made Marcus Smart think he was going left. And Marcus Smart didn't have a choice but to reach over and follow him because he was clearly beating. I thought that move, I, I didn't really think that was a good matchup, right. a one-on-one -on -one matchup, right. but that just shows you how good Garland has gotten, and he's gotten stronger, too. I'm glad yeah. that you mentioned Garland in yeah. Sexton's absence. 19 points a game just in these last five games alone.